So today's topic, we're talking about assets, the best asset to purchase in 2020. And typically when you look at an asset, you want to look at a few different variables. You want to look at um, uh, who the asset or that stock or where that asset um, what class is it in, meaning what industry it is in. Uh, you want to look at the um, the growth potential of that asset. You want to look at a few things um, in regards to, you know, positioning yourself and positioning um, your family um, to being able to 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 generate cash flow or income or wealth from this asset. That's typically what we want to do when we're investing in the market, when we're investing in products or we're investing in shares of a company. And so when you look at an asset, you want to look at its upside potential as well as the hedge against risk. And risk is what's the cost or uh, the cost associated with you losing money or the cost associated with you not being able to um, uh, uh, grow this asset or generate cash flow from this asset or for it to be a positive asset and not a liability in your life. A liability is something that takes money away, not add value to. And so we're talking about the number one asset to purchase or to invest in in 2020 or over the next 10, 20 years. And the number one asset to invest in, you ready? I've been doing a lot of research on this asset and um, um, I've actually dibbled and dabbled with this asset over the last um, 10 years for sure. And this investment in this particular asset, let me put this bracelet back on because my mama made it for me. Uh, this particular asset, because she know I just I just love, you know, red and green. Green is my favorite color. Red and green is, you know, for my people. But anyway, so when, 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 when I invested into this asset, let me tell you the growth potential of this asset. When I invested into this asset, specifically speaking about this investment that I made uh, uh, seven years ago, not 10, seven years ago, um, this asset brought me literally um, uh, about $100,000 my first year. Uh, the second year, the asset did maybe $40,000. The next year, this asset did uh, about $50,000. The next year, the asset did about twenty thousand. Um, uh, then the next year, the asset did about one hundred and twenty thousand, and then it went to four hundred thousand. Then it went to um, uh, to where uh, this asset is producing a million in um, and uh, gross um, uh, growth every single year. And this asset that I'm talking about is me. The asset that I'm talking about is you. Because there's no asset class in America where you can literally put $10,000 into it and it can generate you. It can perpetuate a hundred thousand, fifty thousand, uh, a million dollar, a uh, hundred and fifty, eighty thousand dollar return on a ten thousand dollar investment. Jake, what exactly do you mean? What I mean is that I invested about five thousand dollars into my education, my knowledge base, into books, into personal coaching. That was my first initial package. And I and I dispersed about five thousand dollars in my self education over two years. And that included licenses to be in the industry that I'm in. It included personal training and coaching a relentless hours of, of learning and reeducating myself and breaking barriers. And this this asset that I invested in that first year, um, you know, I, <clears throat> I produced one hundred and about twenty thousand hundred and four thousand uh, dollars my first year of investing in that year. I only invested maybe like a thousand dollars into my personal education. <clears throat> So when it comes to uh, you growing, when it comes to you looking for the best asset that you can purchase, there is no better asset than you.